Woodpeckers are one of the most diverse groups of birds, with species existing in nearly every color and on all continents except Antarctica and Australia. There are also common feeder, feeder birds, gobbling sweat at feeders and occasionally taking peanuts from people's hands. For his reasons and more, here are five tips to identify woodpeckers no matter where you live or intend to bird. 5. Memorize species drumming and calls. Woodpeckers have a variety of sounds and calls, with each species having its own unique drumming tempo. For this reason, memorizing the calls and the unique drumming sounds of each species in your area may be helpful when out in the field. In fact, one of the best ways to tell the nearly identical downy and hairy woodpeckers apart is by listening to the sounds that are drumming, with the downy woodpecker having a generally higher pitch and more defined knocks than the rapid well pitch of the hairy woodpecker. Some other common woodpeckers that you should know the drumming sounds of are the red-headed woodpecker, red-bellied woodpecker, yellow-bellied sapsucker, the northern flickerer, and the pilot woodpecker. Also, as a bonus, here are the calls of the presumed extinct ivory bill. Four, size and shape matter. Different woodpeckers are different sizes and shapes, with pilot woodpeckers being as big as crows and downy woodpeckers being only slightly bigger than sparrows. Once again, one of the main ways of identifying the nocturnal downy and hairy woodpeckers is by looking at the size of the bill, with hairy woodpeckers having hefty, long white bills and being bigger overall. Besides that, most woodpeckers are similar in size and shape, with nearly identical bills, though there are some exceptions. 3. Patterns and coloration are important. If you have looked at images of woodpeckers before, or seen multiple species together in the field, you have probably noticed that nearly all woodpecker species have unique black and white and sometimes other colored patterns, with some having grid patterns like this red-bellied woodpecker, and others having sold colors, like with pilot and red-headed woodpeckers. Also, the location of the red spot on a bird's head is a defining feature of each species and can also be used to help tell males and females apart, like with these pilot woodpeckers. 2. Note behavior and keep species preferences in mind. Behavior is not nearly as important as it is with other birds, though it might still be helpful to know that pilot woodpeckers sometimes work on dead trees on the ground and that northern flickers like foraging and wands, sometimes acting more like robins and other birds and woodpeckers. Finally, each species has different habitat and food preferences, with sap suckers drinking sap from live trees in deciduous forests, and flickers licking up ants in backyard and other open areas, and most other woodpecker species hanging out in forests with lots of dead trees, pecking for grubs and other insects. 1. Go birding with other birders. And of course, going birding with other birders can help you to learn how to identify birds, birds by giving you experience in the field with people who know more than you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like.